Masters of Accrued Venture into unknown territory as a visitor for the first time comes to Twickenham Stadium in the shape of Clermont, who are yet to face a subscriber side, and today they are face up to see whether they've got the goods against the Guardians. Hello, Ronald, welcome on to Cornflakes Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 3 and the subscriber series, the Global Rugby Challenge, where the Guardians are in action today, their third match of the competition, of course, in round three there, following up two pretty convincing wins, a side that so far haven't really been challenged, putting 28 on the Lions in the opening round, the 28-7 victory, and then thumping Munster 24-0 in round two. This is how they line up to kick off round three. The front row consisting of a new look front row as well. Liam Hacker, Bob Bob and Owen Fagan. The only man retaining his spot at the tight head side. Josh Howard will accompany Michael Shepard in the second row. And to the back row we go of Max Wilder, Elliot Malpass and Jake Waller at number eight. A strong looking pack for the Guardians. Into the back line, Ken Lynch starts at scrum half with Simone Dominguez sitting outside him at fly half. It's a new look partnership in midfield as well with Kieran Jones moving from the back row where he was barnstorming last week. Now to inside centre alongside him will be Oliver Elliott Williams. Left wing side is Louis Trotman. On the right is James Gardner. And at fullback will be Tom Guest for the Guardians. The side will be captained by Elliot Malpass for the first time in Season 2. Now up against them will be Clermont. Like I said earlier, this side is yet to feature against one of the four subscriber sides. It's taken till round three, but here they are. How have they gone, you may ask, in the opening couple of rounds? Well, a win and a loss for the French club. A 25-18 a win over the Exeter Chiefs in round number one was followed up by a very tight loss 15-16 going down to the Wasps. So are we looking to bounce back from that and take the biggest scalp of all against one of these subscriber sides. The Guardians are the ones on the board today. It is a strong link come on side. They've been very good for many years now and this team can take on anyone on their given day. A pack full of strong runners, full of a good amount of different nationalities through there as well. So you can count that these guys will be definitely strong up front. In the back line, so much experience. Pata, Lopez, Lamarat, they are three guys at 19 and 12 who can definitely sh shape a game and control it. Then you look at their back three, Nakatasi, Streetle and Abendanen. They are definite dangerous weapons and on the left side will be Nakatasi who will be the one to watch in the yellow jumper for Clermont. So we are all good to go here. Clermont, of course, in the yellow. It is the Guardians of the Crib in the blue and red. We look good to get this one underway. And underway we do go as well. Kicked off from Lopez. Deep down to Fagan and Bob Bob. Well, Bob's put a kick in. Playing at hooker. He's just nudged that one straight down the centre of the park. And it's nicely taken there from Nick Vendon at the back for Clermont. A pick and go here from Lamarat, does nicely, and it's, oh, it's a great offload as well. That keeps the ball alive too for Clermont. They look left side, quickly changing directions, and Captain Malpass makes his first tackle of the day. Pick and go from Scholey, another French international representative, but Jones has turned it over. Howard, he's lining quick, Domingues, Simone Domingues, all by himself, looks wide, big pass. Trotman had to get on the bounce, but Oliver Williams, one chance, one break, one try. The Guardians hit first. Well, that didn't take much, did it? One big play, and almost they stuffed it up. Straight through the guts. So good that from Dominguez. Did very, very well. The pass out to Louis Trotman was not on the money. He had to stop and wait for it and regather himself for just popping it inside to a man who featured heavily in round number one for the Guardians. It is Oliver Elliott Williams. Great start for the Guardians. Look at him shoot straight through between two big boys as well. The second row is not able to hold in at the outside centre. Certainly not his first try of the competition. And there's Simone Dominguez who will be having the kicking duties for the Guardians. They lead 5-0. Already early day still for Clermont. They are a side who can score points, but you see their second match against Wasps, they only managed 15. They'll be having to do better than that if they want to match the Guardians of the Crib, who are off to a 
a mighty start, leading 7-0 after just eight minutes. Back we go to Morgan Parter this time, and is kicking off, and he's gone a little short, delicate one, and Bob has the ball again, he's dropped it, it's picked up by Clermont. And a great turnover as well coming their way. Here is Lopez, little pick and go from Lopez, he runs straight to the defense, straight to Bob, Bob, who puts him to deck, Parter. Wide ball, straight through goes Lumbrand, he gets away from Waller, he comes up against Guest, who puts Police. him to ground. On the 22, where was the support there? Nakatasi sets it up, Vertura, and Release. again, slow ball coming back here for Clomont. Zara Krasvili, running straight and hard at the defence, sets it up, Kaiser, back inside it goes. Vertura once again takes it into contact on the 22 metre line. Not many Guardians players jumping in to help out here. Good ball out wide, and Hacker is nowhere near it. It's one with the fullback, Nakatase! Can't get away. And a good tackle again from Guest. But it was the hit over the top from Hacker that put him thundering into touch as well. Here is Bob Bob to throw in to the front. And down it goes to Lynch, who finds Domingo straight away. And he punishes this one downfield. Waiting back, there's Nakatasi. He gives it to Lamarad. The offload's coming out for Clermont. And it's just 7 0. This game definitely in the balance here for both sides. Lamarat looking out wide, doing very nicely at the moment as well. And they've got a nicely up Stradle. Stradle against this one on one. Oh, Stradle sells him away. And in goes Stradle to score. Guest is left reeling. And the Guardians concede their second try of the season. Well, you got to question what Tom Guest was doing at the back there. He's covered everything so far. But he just overcommitted to the touchline. Look at him. There he was, the dummy inside, and Streetle was gone. You cannot argue with that form, but you can argue with what was happening at the back for the Guardians. Trotman did well. Oliver Elliott Williams was definitely outpaced there, but Streetle goes in and a superb try to get Clermont on the board. Definitely got the ability, definitely got the talent. We know about that from Clermont. And they have their first of the match, and they could tie it up here through Morgan Parra. They do. And it's all tied up at 7 7. Clermont hit back here at Twickenham, and the Guardians, who have been galloping along so far, are slowly being stunted after 20 minutes. Not much open play going the way here of the uh, Guardians as well. They've been pretty much contained. But they'll look to open things up as they go on. Here's a great kick. Down to Hacker. Away to Garner. Garner could do it himself. Great step. But Release. pulled down from Nick and at the back. How quickly they turn kick off into attack. Howard. Howard. Oh, he's in. What a reply from the Guardians. That was too easy. Quick ball. Instantly recycled. Popped out, and that little guy has some wheels. Josh Howard scores. He's playing in the second row, but he's probably one of the smallest men on the paddock. That is how the subscriber series work. Bang! Hits it at a lot of speed. Goes straight inside Fritz Lee, or outside Fritz Lee. Inside Pinot, and in for the try. Big hit there from Arne Fagan. Another seasoned veteran. And then bang! Straight across. Jake Waller. Away to Josh Howard. Try scored. The Guardians hit back instantly. And they hit back into the lead as well through their big guys as well. It was all the big guys in little numbers. Liam Hacker, Jake Waller, Josh Howard doing the hard work. They're creating that try instantly off the kickoff. 26 gone. It is 14 7. The Guardians reclaim that seven point buffer. But Clermont, they'll be determined to hit back before the half. So a lot of water to go under this bridge here in round number three. We saw the All Flakes get off to a, a great start in round three after a couple of shaky performances. They certainly put in a great shift in their opening game of the round. As here is Hacker again, finding Domingo. Short ball to Bob. Bob frees the arms. And Fagan just cleans up. Elliot Malpass, he's thundering away now. What an offload from him. But it's picked up from Nakai Tussi. What were saying? Oh, but he is wrapped up very quickly. The Clermont teammates were just standing around. 
And Nakatsasi was just lying on the ground. That is criminal. And here is Dominguez looking to set this one in touch. But a great take. He was out and he jumped in. He saved it from touch. And a big mistake Please. there from the Guardians of the Crib. Clement have a chance to reply. He's gone back and Lopez has taken his time. This one's holding up in the wind. Guest has it now. He fires it back into Garner, who takes the tackle. And the Guardians have a long way to go here. Lich, who added Dominguez. Fires a wobbly on ball. No one really wants it. Bob Bob hits a clean up. Turn over ball. It's back here. For Clement. Why'd they go that way? Zerkash really takes it into contact. He's surely going to lose that. How has he not lost that? I do not know. Now they go back to the right, the open side. They shift it back to Kaiser. Pops it back nicely. And it's an inside ball. Here's a chance for Lee to make up for that poor play earlier. They are just a couple of metres short here, Clement. What a time to score. Kaiser! Can't get through. Strong player. Benjamin Kaiser, but no. This will be turned back. And Ken Lynch will have it. And he smashed this high. High, very high. Waiting for it is everyone. But if Edmonton is the one who grabs it at the back, and here come Bunch. Slopez again, but he's pulled down. That's a terrible ball away. I don't know what they're try trying here, um, the Guardians, but they eventually tried to touch. Goodness me, that was messy. That was very, very, very messy. And Cromont's finish on a poor note. There was Lopez shimmying straight through a half gap. They've looked dangerous, Cromont. But they go into the halftime break, trailing by 7. 14-7 is the score. The Guardians with two great tries. And Clement with just the one. But we look at these stats. Clement control. Possession. Territory. All the good things on their side. They're making the Guardians do all the work in defense. 31 tackles to just 13. And look at those handling errors. 8-3. to three. That is telling a big, big story how the home team... It's not dominating this game like they have in the opening two rounds. It is only half time, still a long way to go. Bonus point will be far from the thoughts of the Guardians players. 14 7. It is at half time. Come on. They'll want to again get out of the blocks quickly and score first to get back in this game. Well, we are seeing a lot of contrasting performances from these subscriber sides you've got to remember that one big factor here we're looking at right now is this wind as Dominguez kicks off and gets his back underway of a high high hanging kick but it's nicely claimed in there Police. for Clermont and they'll have it just outside the 22 they want to kick this one now no partner eventually fires it back to Kaiser Police. and he takes it pretty much back where they started Waiting for it there. And they do pick and go. Eventually, Lamarack slides through after a good pass from Bruno. They're going to fight their way out of here, Clement. No intention of kicking at all until they do knock it on there. And Oliver Elliott Williams does clean that one up. Here is Lynch going himself. Shepard! He is a big, big man, isn't he? Release. Looking for a quick recycle pick and go here for the Guardians. They do eventually get out to Oliver Elliott Williams. He fires it wide. Oh, and we do go back. I was going to say, is he in touch? Is he safe? But no. Referee Crouch. says we will have a scrum. Bind. And we will reset this play. 47 Shit. gone. It's the first scrum of the match. Ken Lynch will feed for all for the Guardians. But come on. They must steal this one here. Big shove on the second hit. It could be turn over time at the scrum. It well and truly will be. That is a big interesting factor. They were very deep here. Uh, the gut is, but here comes Clement looking to force their way through. Great tackle though. Ken Lynch doing the job for his team. Oliver Elliott Williams once again gets it away out wide to Garner. Garner looking inside. He fires his man as well. And it's Jones! And Jones will be away! That is what he does! He was amazing in round one, but he scores a cracker from the back line in round three. Karen Jones, welcome back. Round two it was, he was exceptional, not round one. But in his first match of the season, he was brilliant. Look at that step. He's got the power and size. But how about the agility to match from Kieran Jones? He's hardly featured. You've got to credit James Garner here. He's been brilliant. Abandoning has been fantastic at fullback. But no one was stopping Kieran Jones. Not today, not tomorrow, not any time in the future. 
Well, that is a game-breaking try from broken game play as well. Shows what the Guardians can do if given the chance. Clermont will be devastated because they were, well, they'll feel, especially they were on top of this game. Now it turns out they go behind by 14 points, 21-7. Now the thought starts shifting. Bonus points, just secure the win. It's going to come down to this last 25 minutes. Whether they go for another try. I mean, that was completely against the run of play by the Guardians. Here is Para going high and again holds up in the wind. The yellow jerseys are coming. But Hacker pulls it away. Domingue is looking to, oh, get involved. He looks like he might lose this ball, but he has plenty of buddies there as well. Elliot Mel pass. Kept him for the day. A devastatingly bad pass. And the Guardians again, they do hold it up nicely. Lynch gets away. Here's Elliot Mel pass again. He said absolutely everything in the moment. Hacker gets involved in the big prop. And he got it away to Garner. And this is well deserved. James Garner scores. And this will be the bonus point try for the Guardians of the crib. They had to toil. They had to work hard. But they have eventually put away Clermont. And they do it in impressive fashion. Big boys out wide for the hands of backs. That was exceptional play. Malpass, Hacker, and then eventually it was James Garner, and he was gone away for their fourth try. And just think, not long ago, this game was 7 7. And it's been three unanswered tries by the Guardians of the Crib, who go steamrolling their way to another victory. Their third in the competition, or oh, in the competition so far. In round three, of course, they are the um, undefeated side. One of the four so far, technically. Here is Dominguez on the hour mark. Right out in front. Another great kick off the left foot. And an impressive display here in the number 10 jumper from Simone Dominguez. Well, the hope and belief in this Clermont side must have well and truly gone out the window now. What's Pata got to do? He kicks it high, looks for those chases to come through. And Fagan, goodness me, he's been in everything here tonight. Trotman, he'll go for a little bit of a scamper. Trotman looking to all oh, force his way well. He's not really a man who's going to force his way too well, is he? Smallest on the paddock. Here's Shepard. Big ball wide. Jake Waller holds it up nice. He finds it out to Kieran Jones. Terrible pass from Oliver Alley Williams. Hides it in nicely. Oh no! Oh no! That is terrible by Clemence. And Nick abandoned gives away. Well, he gives away a penalty, but I think with James Garner there on his shoulder, he has possibly saved a try. And it is. Surprisingly, Dominguez, who's going to line up and shot a goal here. He's got a bit of a breeze behind him, but he's got to remember it's going across him as well. He's going to have to absolutely thump this one. Smacks it nicely. It's looking in line. Has it got the legs? Oh, my goodness. He has smoked it. Simone Dominguez goes long range. And he nails the extra three. It's 31-7. to seven. That is a real kick in the guts to Clermont, who have toiled to try and get back in this game. But every single thing they do is just counterpunched by this Guardians team, Liam Hacker. He's through once more. Oh my goodness me. Not again. Abandoning is on an absolute killing spree. He looks expectantly at the referee. And the referee says nothing. And Dominguez is going for another one. So, well, you keep tackling us high. We'll just... Keep popping over threes. Good way to rack up the points here for the fly half. He does have tough competition around him as well. Another three on offer for the Ringwears. And he says thank you very much. They won much more regulation there for the fly half. And he slots it over. Minutes go by. Another three points on the scoreboard. 34-7. Well, when the results in the bag... You just take all the points you can get. Points differential is crucial. That one's too deep. Here's Bob Bob running it again. Dominguez, where he says, I've got, already got a couple of penalties. I might as well try grab a try if I can. He's covering it through, but he's not managed to get it. Well saved to the back from Nakatasi. Slow ball here 
from Lopez. He has just picked Please. up. There was no real ruck there at all um, from either side. So it was just straight up and down. And Please. it's a terrible run from Zurichas Vili. And it's all the Guardians at the moment. Now Clermont look to shift the ball. They keep it alive nicely. They go inside and outside. They've broken through and they're making room as well. How wide they come. Is there room and time for one more try? No. Tom Guest Please. says, not on my watch. Clermont fight hard for the ball, but it looks like they're going to lose this as well. They do, in fact. So here is Lynch. They're going away again. It's going up with, oh, Olive Alley. Williams, he's just, well, he's just from that strength to touch. That is full time. He was going for a crossfield kick. He butchered it completely and it goes into touch. The Guardians will take that. They will take that all day. An absolutely emphatic display against Clermont. The real telling is going to come in a couple of rounds time when these sides all converge and meet. It's the All Flakes, the Guardians, the Dragons and of course the Flakers when they go head to head that is when the real winners will be decided. 34 to 7. A bit of a fight in the Clermont side, but they were easily pushed aside, weren't they? Four tries to one. Howard Jones, Elliot Williams, and Garner picking up one apiece. Straight off for Clermont. Well, it was almost a bit of a mistake, the Ozzina from Tom Guest, that gifted him that opportunity. Dominguez was superb of the tell for T. Four out of four conversions. Parter picking up one. And Dominguez grabbed another couple of penalty goals at the end to notch up a few more points for the fly half. 34-7 to seven it ended. Contrasting halves as well, you'd say. It was Clermont who were leading on position and territory. And they were well and truly in the game as well. 14-7. to seven, But they just were shut out completely. 20 unanswered points in the second half. That put them to bed. They didn't even fight back and get anything themselves. Line breaks 8-5, to five. you say Clermont with 5 line breaks, you've got to be scoring more than one try. The high tackles was almost a result of, of giving up from the Clermont side as Nick Abendon was just trying to decapitate anyone he could out there as well. Handing is 11 to form. Guardians will definitely want to clean that up in future episodes. But for today, they go on 34-7. to seven. That will be their biggest victory in terms of points scored and margin as well. So they look hot at the moment as the team was nicely rotated and they will go on to round four full of confidence. Well, their opponents, Clermont, though, uh, they will not go on full of confidence. A, a good win and a tight loss and then they get thumped. It makes a big, big difference for them as well as we look now at the Guardians of the Crib have a couple of bonus point wins. They now go top of the table. Round three sees the Flakers up against Munster for the next match of the round. Um, we'll have a look at that one in a second. First things first, Let's have a look at the table. It is the Guardians at the top, of course. Um, three wins and two bonus points. That puts them on 14. One ahead of the All Flakes, who just have the one bonus point. Look out, though. The Crusaders doing all right. Uh, they have only been beaten once, and that is by the All Flakes. They sit third after three games on 10. So they have two wins and two bonus points. So you look out. Uh, they're not far away from the All Flakes if they do slip. The Flakers and the Dragons sit third, fourth and fifth. Uh, after not playing their third match just yet. Uh, Wasps on the same points. They've played three. But you see Munster um, and, well, Lions, two and two losses. And poor old Toulon way down the bottom. They look at that. Three games, three losses, minus 76. This season looks well and truly over already. The Crusaders and Wasps, probably the two teams that could trouble everyone. See how Munster go as well. If they get a win, um, they could do something special. But considering they're up against the Flakers next, it looks very, very unlikely the Celtic Dragons round out round three with their game against the Lions. So the Lions being pretty poor as well. So not looking good here uh, for competitive matches in those last two rounds. But the Flakers have been pretty good. They've been dominant. But the Dragons, on the other hand, um, one good half in their opening match where they just put on point after point after a shocking first opening half. And then the second match, well, they're sick convincing. They were pretty average, so they'll be looking to uh, put in a full match display here against the Emirates Alliance. But first things first, we'll have the Flakers up against Munster. Righty-ho. Whoops, that is not what we wanted to push. That does do us for round number three and matchup number two. I'll be back in for those final two games involving the Flakers and the Dragons. Hope you'll join me for those two as well as those other sides look to make their way into that top, well, two 
you've got to say, if, if they can both get bonus points, they'll both go into at least second. Um, but that'll be interesting to see where they do sit after this round. But where, where it gets really interesting, we'll go back to it, will be in round six, I do think. Yes, there we go. We've got the Guardians versus the Flakers. This is when things start to get real. So we've still got a couple of rounds to go where the sides will probably, you'd expect, do pretty well and clean things up. And then the real competition starts with one meeting between the subscriber sides every round until pretty much the end as well. So hold on to your hats. It's going to be exciting. It is literally every round to the end. It's going to be exciting. So round six is when it begins. Uh, and you can look forward to that. I very much am looking forward to those big, big games every single round. So until then, thanks for tuning in watching. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. And I'll see you all for the Flakers vs. Monster. Until then, take care.